If you want to see my sixth look using the Lancôme Holiday Blockbuster Set Palette, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène, and yes, we're going to play with this palette again. This is the Lancôme palette, which is in the Holiday Blockbuster kit for 2020 from the brand. And I have done, so far, five looks with this, and this is going to be look number six. And for this look, I'm going to use specifically the red and the gold. I'm going to open up this palette if I can. I find it very hard to open. There we go. Apparently, if you go on the side and twist, it opens up. Oy. All right, so here is the palette, and what I want to use today is this one and this one, along with whatever else makes sense, but definitely gold and red. And in order to, to not clash red on the eye and red on the lips, I decided to go with the 126 Natural Beauty, which is a cream lip, um, where is it? It's one of the two that uh, came in the pack, um, in the kit this year, or set. Why am I having trouble? Yeah, it came in the set and this is quite big. It is quite soft. You'll see that I'm already hitting the side when I apply it. Um, but it's, I think it's quite fetching. And um, as far as my eyes, I do have in my brow and on my eyelid, some of the shadows from the Smashbox Matte Exposure. And I do use that as my just my setting of my face before I go and do other eyeshadows with the holiday sets. So this is standard for every one of the looks across Lancôme, Estee Lauder, and Elizabeth Arden. So there, it's very consistent. Uh, the brows once in a while are different because for Estee Lauder, I actually had a brow product for that brand. Okay, I think you're all caught up. I also have zero on the upper waterline from Urban Decay. I think we're good. For foundation, everything else, contour, you can take a look in the description box. Everything that I'm wearing is there, or it's linked to another video where I listed it. All right. Any other caveats? <laughs> Seems like a lot to get started. Now, there is a brush that comes with the Lancôme set. And just like I did with the other looks, I'm going to use this brush. I don't need to use this side because I did already apply some of the products. I applied this one specifically. This is the only one I've used today from the this kit. And I used it as a blush and I'm pretty happy with it. I might, I might just apply a tiny bit more. I already have some on, but the ring light washes me out a tiny bit, so, so I do stand uh, relatively far away from um, the camera, like I'm not right up front, um, just so that the ring light is not quite as, as uh, gives me not as quite of a stark look. All right, I need to stop talking and I need to start applying makeup. So I've got the, um, like I said, the blush, and it's kind of a, a peachy blush with a hint of kind of gold sheen to it. I would say it's like a blush highlight hybrid. I like it. And I like um, the, the pink blush and I like the bronzer as well. This one I think is, is more of a challenge, but I think it can look really good as an eyeshadow. Oh yeah. Would look really good as an eyeshadow, but also as highlighter. It just depends on your skin tone. My stalling? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go into this guy right here and neutralize a little bit the color that I have on my eyelid. My foundation's a bit funnier on my nose, but too bad. We're, uh, we're going to uh, keep the show going. So I've got some on my brush, and I'm just going to apply. The mirror in this palette is not bad at all. It's quite significant. It's, it's the biggest mirror out of any of the uh, holiday sets that I'm reviewing. And I am going to do a um, another look, by the way, with the Lise Watier. I have been dared to use that blue. So, oh yes, it's going to happen. It's a blue with this bluish green, I guess, if memory serves. Okay, so that's a good start. I'm going to do one eye and then do the other eye off camera, I think, uh, just to save you some time. 
All right, so now we have that. I want to go in with the red and I want to do, I, oh, I'm debating on whether or not to do a halo eye. And I think, I, I think that's what I'm going to do because the gold on the inner to two thirds of the lid and red on the outside, that's too easy. So let's do, I'm going to go right into the red Got some on the brush. Now it's going to be a little bit tougher because this is not a very precision brush, but I do want to use what comes in the kit. Now this is last year's brush. This year's is not as fluffy on this side. They, they cheapened up the brush and I just went to, uh, to last year's. It was either that or use a different brush. So meaning one of my own. Um, but it's just something to, to know. I, I go into a lot more detail in the unboxing and first impressions on what I think of all of the items. And I am going to be doing, which I promised some time ago, the comparison between every one of the uh, holiday sets that I have. So um, Estee Lauder, Elizabeth Arden, and Lacombe, so that you can get a full view of what I think. So each one paired against each other and then uh, the last one which is an evaluation across the board on specific qualities of each one of the sets and, and ranking them uh, first, second, or third for each one of the uh, qualities that we look for in a set. So that means that um, I'm going to be doing exactly what I did last year. So if you want to see all the last year's videos you can look in the description box. You'll find all of them and the one I would suggest from last year is the one called Final Verdict because you'll be able to see um, how the three sets from last year stacked against each other and that gives you an idea of what I'm going to be doing for Gunna, what I'm going to be doing for this year again. And I'm getting on those because I don't want to wait too long. Obviously Christmas is coming if that's what you celebrate and I want to give you information before um, that time of year hits us. I'm going to go in with the red on the lower lash line and I think the um, the brush is pointy enough that I can get away with using that brush still. So heavy on the outside and thinning it out as I go toward the center. Okay, my eyelid is a bit dry. Didn't feel dry this morning, but apparently it's dry now. Okay, so that is what I'm doing, and I there is some red in the middle, but it's not. I didn't target it there. It's more the brush that uh, as I was sweeping back and forth, I could have done a better job of trying not to uh, put the brush there, but I don't think it's a big deal. So using a fancy color switch, I am just removing the red so that I can use the same brush for the gold because the brush comes, there's only one brush head for the um, shadow. So I'm going into the, the, uh, the, the yellow, the gold that I just showed you. I'm going to start off with the brush and then probably go to my finger. Now, not everybody's big on uh, finger application. So I'm showing you brush first. And because I'm going in with my finger afterwards, I'm not going to wet the brush for this. You'll have to imagine a little bit what it might be if I were to wet the brush. But the finger application should give you the, the result that you would get if you um, wet the brush. It tends to be pretty similar. So I've got some on my finger and I'm going to just get to where I want to get to and drag down. It's like pat and drag, pat and drag is what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's quite pretty, but I, I want to intensify the red a little bit, and I don't think that this brush can do it. I'll try, but I think I might have to switch brushes. So I've got some just on the tip, and I'm going to pat as opposed to brush. Okay, that, that did apply a little bit more. Going in again. I'm going to do the same thing on the outside here. OK, 
Okay, and a little bit more, again, right on the tip of the brush to cross over. Oh yeah, that, that worked a little bit better. So I'm, I'm being very, very specific in where I'm putting the shadow so that I get more red where I want it. And just softening the edge a little bit. Okay, now with what I have on the brush, I'm just going to bring more of that red up toward the inner uh, brow, well, inner brow. It's going to say brow bone, but that's not true. Inner brow. It's an effect I quite like. Not for everyone, but I like it on my eye shape. And what we need now is to put on a brow bone. And I'm going to use the matte beige. Oh, pardon me, went pretty close. The matte beige right here. So wiping off my brush again. And it's a pretty clean brush now, just a fluff on it and going into the beige. Just a matte beige, nothing fancy about it. But it's good for the brow bone, especially if I have a sparkly look with the rest of the look. So it, I mean, it is red, but because of the sheer nature of it, it almost looks um, pinky burgundy, like a light burgundy, not a heavy burgundy. It's definitely not a cherry red by any means. I think I'm going to go in with just a slightly deeper color just below the brow bone just to, to kind of bridge between the very, very light shade on the brow bone and the red. Okay, I like that better. I think that looks okay. Now I have some fallout here, not a big deal. I'll just wipe it away. As usual, I forget to take this brush out. I should always have it out because I always wipe off the fallout with this brush. It's the Smashbox Angled Powder Brush. And what else do I want to do here? I think that's pretty much it. The only thing I can think of is that this would look really good with a brown liner. And so I think I'm going to go into the chocolate brown and just line my lower lash line. And call me crazy, but I think I'm going to attempt to use this brush as my liner brush for the lower lash line. I know I have lost my mind. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, seems to be working pretty nicely. Just going on the very, very tip of the brush. Okay. And I think I'm going to just take a little bit and go on the upper lash line and just do a little bit, not, not, not a wing, but just accentuate the outside of the lid, the outer lid, outside of the lid, outer lid a little bit with a little bit of that brown. Just, just on the edge of the eye. I think that just adds a little bit of depth without losing the gold and the red. Now I think I'm going to finish up this whole eye and then replicate it on the other side. So the next thing that I want to do is a liquid liner. And I don't have a liner from Lacombe, so I'm going to use the Clinique Pretty Easy Liner that I am trying to pan this year. And I say that having used all sorts of other liners one of which is the Estee Lauder Little Black Liner because I'm doing the Estee Lauder set reviews. And so I need to be using it. Okay, I went a little bit low on the wing, but that's okay. Okay, I think I fixed it there. All right, and now for the mascara. I'm going to go in with the Lancome Cil Booster first, which is a primer. So 
the white primer. So let's use that first. Doing everything differently today, why not shake things up? I'm becoming too predictable. Although, it's nice to go to a channel and know what you're going to get. You know, sometimes you just, you just want the predictable. If that's what you're after, I guess I'm going to disappoint you today. All right. Now, this is the Definicil, which is the um, Seal Booster XL, and the Definicil come in the holiday kit. So I'm using as many products that are in the kit as I can. Okay, not, not huge on having lots of mascara on my lower lashes because they're quite long and it looks clownish in my opinion. <laughs> But there you have it. There's one of the eyes done. I'm going to go off camera, do the same thing on the other side, and then we can just talk about final thoughts on this look number six using Lancome. Okay, the two eyes are done, and I've also used the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay just to do a basically to use a setting spray. I did reapply the uh, Urban Decay Zero liner, which is a black liner. I should just do a, just a swatch of each one of the liners I used today. That Clinique Pretty Easy liner is getting dry, which is good because it means I'm getting close to the end. And, uh, and I am trying to pan it, so that's a good thing. And then the lipstick that I have on, which is Natural Beauty in 126, the, uh, one of the two lipsticks that came with the kit. So those are the three. Now I am holding something else in my hand and that is I have had a couple of folks really interested in this Stonewall which is a heavy metals liner from Urban Decay and it's I'll do a swatch of that one too although it has nothing to do with Lancome but I'm going to add it to this look because it's red glitter this is a red look I think it's going to go really well together so this is what the applicator looks like and I'm just going to do a swatch for you of this one as well. As I said, it has nothing to do with Lancome, but I think it's going to amp up a look, especially if it is for the holidays. And of course, uh, the gold one as well, Midnight Cowboy, would do a really nice job there as well. Uh, let me just get the palette out again. This Lancome palette, and I'm figuring out that twisting it a little bit I thought I had a trick. I don't. It's just hard to open. Have to wedge something in there. Okay. I'm going to use the, the mirror in the palette. It now has fingerprints on it. And where am I going to put that liner? I have a little flakiness going on over here. I'm using a a primer that um, not an eyeshadow primer, but just an overall face primer. The uh, Velvet Blur by Becca and I think it's getting old because it just does funny things under foundation and my foundation just seems to be breaking up underneath or over top that uh, Velvet Blur. I think I have to just ditch that one. Where am I going to put this? I want to make sure. I think I'm going to put it along the black liner on both sides. Wish me luck. Let's see what it does. And I like these liners for just a daytime appropriate look and then you're going out in the evening you add one of these liners and it just changes the look so much I think it's fabulous There we go, and I'm just going to go in with the um, mascara brush as soon as I'm done, just to take some of the glitter away from my lashes. So there's more on the inner lid, on the liner, and then just kind of fades out as I go. I'm not going back into the tube to reapply, I'm just fading out that glitter on the outer lash line. Okay, 
So that is what that looks like. And like I said, I'm just going to go back into the mascara to just get rid of any glitter that I can see on the lashes. Mostly on the just very tip of those lashes, yeah. So that is what that looks like. It's just a little glittery goodness on top of a look that was already quite nice. It's just, it just brings it more into evening party gala kind of um, a situation. Okay, so again, so, oh, pff, wrong one. Again, Stonewall from Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner Series. And I have, I think, five of them at this point. I love them all. I think that they are fantastic to just do a little something that you know, somebody's going to look at your eye and kind of go, what was that? I saw something. <laughs> and I think that's kind of neat. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking it quite a bit. All right. So there you have it. Look six, I believe, from the Lancôme Holiday Blockbuster set for 2020. Uh, if you want to see all the other looks, I will have them listed below, along with the Elizabeth Arden looks I've done and the Estee Lauder kit looks that I have done as well. You can compare and contrast and see if you are trying to pick one of the holiday sets primarily for the makeup. At least you get a, a chance to see a bunch of different looks uh, with the three palettes that I'm comparing. I'm also doing the holiday uh, sets from Lise Watier. But the Lise Watier sets are not the blockbuster type sets. They're just a few eyeshadow palettes and a lip gloss or a, a trio of lips. I mean, they're holiday sets, but kind of a different category. I hope that makes sense. Let me know what you think. I look forward to your feedback. Would you have done a different look with this palette? I'm not going to try to open it up again. Let me know if there are some specific combos that you would recommend if you already have the kit or if you do still have some requests for looks, please let me know the types of colors that you would like to see me use. Um, but please take a look at the other five looks to make sure that you're not requesting something that I've already uh, done on this channel. With that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.